What an absolutely fantastic day. I'm loving summer at the moment. I know it's only mid-April, but it seems like we're, we're having our summer now, so enjoy it while it lasts. Whenever this video goes up, but at the moment, it's the middle of April now. This, due to our scheduling, this video might not be up to the middle of May. So hopefully we've still got a summer. On this video, I've got some notes. And I've had Virgin Media for about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. I've had Virgin Media for a long time. This is gonna compare this video. Virgin Media with Sky Broadband. Now recently, if you check out my other video of Sky Glass, I've recently switched to Sky, Sky instead of Virgin, come off Virgin Media, gone on to Sky. TV package, superb, but this video we're gonna be talking about the broadband, the internet service, your service provider, your Wi-Fi, all that, we're gonna go over it real quickly now, it's not gonna be a long in-depth review, it's gonna be some points I've made with some scores, and I've gone through a few things going over the difference between Sky and Virgin, ball band. And we are going to end this with what one I think is better. Even though I will say this at the start, neither of them are going to really let you down. There's no major, major bad points to having either, but we're going to go through it. Let's start the list off by looks. Now this one is, is personal. This is a personal thing whether you like the look of the Sky box or you like the look, look of the Virgin box. Me personally, I think the Sky box is a bit generic. It's a bit boring looking. The Virgin one ain't much better, but I've tried to do it a little bit different. But me personally, I'm gonna give that to Virgin. I think the Virgin Hub 3, I believe it's called. I think there's a new one out now as well, but the Hub 3, I think it looks just a little bit, a little bit better. I've tried to do something different. The Sky one is, is very plain and boring to look at. So the first point is giving it. I'm gonna give that to Virgin. On the next one, the range. So you in your house, I've got a three story townhouse. Downstairs, middle, top stairs, upstairs. The box is in the middle. It's in the front room, which is the other side of that wall there. And same with the Virgin, that's where it was. Now with both of them, we've not really had any issues. I go downstairs, I'm on the Wi-Fi, go upstairs, you're on the Wi-Fi, and I can probably walk out to the car and I'm still on the Wi-Fi. However, I am finding with Sky, it's just a little bit better. Like if we go down to my garage, which is directly below, below me, and there's a toilet down there as well, if I'm sometimes, if I'm in that toilet or if I'm in the back of the garage, the Virgin one used to drop a little bit. Sometimes it would go off, sometimes it would drop a bit. I'm saying the range of the router, they are placed in directly the same space. I think the, the Sky one just edges it a little bit. I think it's probably got better receivers or whatever in it, the Wi-Fi. I'm saying the Wi-Fi range on the Sky one is a smidgen better. It's a smidgen that I've noticed, but it's a smidgen better. So Sky, you're winning the Wi-Fi range. So Paul's on the back, you may be thinking, I've got computers rigged up, I might have PlayStation, Xbox rigged up to it, and you wanna plug it directly into the router. I've got a couple of PCs rigged up to mine, and all sorts. The ports on the back, both of them have four ports. They have four ports that you can connect various bits and bobs to them. There's also a telephone port and other little ports like that, but we ain't gonna worry about them. Who still has a landline? 2022, you don't have a landline. Landline. Four ports on the back. However, you would be thinking, well, that's a draw then, isn't it? Both of them got four port ports. That's four port. That's a four port draw. However, it's not. The Virgin one has four ports, four free ports that you can use. You can use all four of them. The Sky one, however, has three usable because one of them, you need that port. So your line from Sky that comes into the house, goes to a little box in the corner of the room, that needs to connect to the router. And that uses one of the ports, whereas on the Virgin box, it's got a separate port for where the internet connects to the street, say. So Virgin wins because you've got one more port, even though they've both got four, Sky only has three that you can use. So Virgin, you win that one. You've got an extra port on the back and at the moment my Sky one's full up so I need to see if I can get an adapter or something. Because if you think you've got three ports on the back, if you connect two PCs up, which I've got, and you connect your TV, which I've done, now I'm out of ports. So if I want, if I want a PlayStation in the front room and I want to connect it up, I've got, I'm, out, I'm out of luck, I'm out of luck. So Virgin, you win that, you have got an extra port, but I still think both of them should probably nowadays, five, six ports. So the app, so you can connect them. You might want to change your privacy settings on your thing. You can connect to, like you just log into it on your phone with an app. The Sky One blows the Virgin One away. The Sky One, I can go into the app, I can change the privacy settings, I can see who's on the Wi-Fi, all that sort of business. You can do that with Sky, with Virgin as well. You can do that with Virgin. It's just the Virgin One's very, the app's no good. 
whether it's the Sky One, the Sky One's like a real app. The Sky app is like a real app. I can go in there, see who's on the Wi-Fi, get rid of them if I wanted. I can go in there, change the privacy settings, you can change it to PC, you've got this like Sky Shield thing, you can put it on PG, you can put it on 13 and above content or 13 and you can go in there and mess around with it you can do it so people in the house don't look at stuff that they probably shouldn't be looking at by mistake the, the sky one's better the sky one is a lot better the app is light and day over the virgin one the virgin one you can do all these things it's just a bit more awkward it's like an app that maybe i made myself whereas the sky app is like a real app so sky on the app to connect to it to check all your settings and all that sort of business even pay your bills and all that sort of stuff sky app is a lot better than the Virgin app. So Sky, you're winning that one. So speeds, overall speeds of them, like as a package, you can get a lot faster speeds with Virgin. You can go on Virgin, I think, I think they, they're definitely up to one gigabyte. I think they might be up, to, I think they might be pushing that as well. So you can definitely get one gigabyte with Virgin. With Sky, your maximum is about 500 MIB. So if you're on overall speed coming into the house, you ain't really gonna do better than Virgin. So for speed, total speed, Virgin, you're winning that one. However, there is some differences now. When we go on to the performance of the package I've got, and I, I can put the screenshots on the uh, on the screen. I'm just gonna get this. So I was using Wi-Fi Man. It's an app that I think some, I was watching someone's video and it was recommended. This is a good one to test your Wi-Fi in your house. And I've got Wi-Fi Man. And since the 6th of February, I've been testing the internet. So I was testing it with Virgin, and then I, when I got Sky, I started to test it with Sky. And you can check your speed, your internet speed, your uploading, your downloading. It logs them all as well. I'm going to put this on the screen. You can log them all as well. So with Virgin, the package I had with Virgin was 200 MIB. That was what I had. I had a 200 MIB. With Sky, I've got a 500 MIB package. The difference is megabytes per second, not MIBs, megabytes per second. The difference is, as we can see, oh, I'll put this on the screen somehow. Virgin was pretty much always hitting 200. I'm going down there, and a lot of the time, Virgin, remember I had 200 megabyte per second package with Virgin. It was sometimes going above it. There's one here that says 213, 203, uh, 194, so below, below again, 194.9. It was very close and sometimes going above and beyond. It was like, and there's a 203 there as well, a 191. It was getting very close. Every time I tested it, different times of the day, Virgin One was very close to giving you what you deserved or what you paid for, not what you deserved, the package you paid for. If not, going up above and beyond it, giving you a little bit extra so you're definitely getting the speed you're paying for. However, with Sky, remember I'm on a 500 megabyte per second package, I've seen that 500 once. So if we go to when I changed at Sky, we can see this here. When I change with Sky, I'm getting like, remember I'm having 500 now. 377, 449, 341, 257, fours, we've got a load of fours here. Fours, 496, 453, 490, 492, 490, and a 503 was the last time I'd done it there. So mainly every time I do it with Sky, I was getting below what I was paying for. And I know they say you get it between this and between this, but with Virgin, you do seem to get what you pay for. To finish this off, if you're thinking of, you just want internet, you ain't got no TV package, you just want internet, and you want the best money you can get, you get Virgin. If you want something that's reliable, comes in with a TV package, is pretty decent package overall, there's nothing wrong with getting Sky. I don't think there's no clear winner, even though on this list, Virgin have got more ticks, as you can see, on the list, Virgin have got more ticks. It's not disappointed me in any way. I'm not thinking I want to go back to Virgin or all this business. It's just making me think that the Virgin internet is, is a lot better. Both services can do a lot to improve. Virgin can improve their app. They can improve maybe the Wi-Fi range and all that, and maybe add more ports on the router. Sky could do the same. Don't really need to improve the app. The range can always be better. Add more ports and give us more speed. I'm sure Sky, you can get up to one gigabyte. Get on that gigabyte now and, and everyone will be happy. Overall, no, both pretty similar. Like I said, if you want the best money you can buy, you get Virgin. 
And that's, uh, that's where we're going to leave this video. But they're both okay. They're good enough for what I need them for. You lot take care. We'll see you on the next video.